Hello guys, uh, Captain Grizz here, and we're going to try and do an attack on a convoy. But mainly what I'm trying to show is how to do evasion and avoid escorts and not get killed. This part, of this part depending on how defend, uh, heavily defended the convoy is, can be quite difficult. But I have some things I could show you that can help you get away, but also timing when to do things and stuff, because you may be running out of air or you could be having other issues like damage you got to deal with. But anyway, in this uh, video, I'll be attacking a rather heavily defended convoy. I'm going to shoot torpedoes at them. Hopefully I hit some stuff so I can get their attention and then show you how to avoid, uh, show you the ways in which to avoid the escorts as they hunt me. So in, there's a couple things you need to do when you're being hunted, especially. And then this one, I have an advantage because I could see a map and I could see where the escorts are coming and how close they are. But basically, the, the three things you got to do is they go over, is the destroyer escorts go blind the moment they make their attack. So if you were in the sub, you would hear the pinging, and the ping would get faster. And the reason it's getting faster is the ASDIC, it's hitting the sub and it's sending the signal back to the destroyer. So it's like you'll hear ping, ping and then as they detect you it's ping 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 okay and it, and it just rapidly gets faster as they get closer and then you'll, you'll hear it just go dead okay and at that moment you need to hit flank Begin. speed flank speed do a course tra change to like 45 degrees 90 even and then go ahead and either change and you got to change your depth with your deep go higher if you're higher go lower and you, and you have to go flank speed and everything and you have to do all that at once now in these moments when they're blind and they're dropping depth charges they're deafening everybody else too so at this time you need to go ahead and if you need to scrub your air scrub your air do that you can launch a sonar decoy which will get their attention which you can continue to go flank speed and they won't hear you I mean, it's only going to last so long, so you got to, like, you know, get a good enough away and then turn, take your engines back to dead slow, okay? You want to be rigged for silent running, which is the blue, because you don't want to be reloading torpedo tubes while you're trying to be quiet. I think we've already been pinged. See, we've already been discovered as of now, so let me go to the map. Yep, they're firing at my periscope. Well, let's see if we can launch a couple torpedoes before they get, get on to us. Okay, there's a ship. Let's take it. And I'm going to put five knots. Let's go ahead and do the range. Yeah, they're coming right now. So, set. Angle of bow. 90. Set. Oops. Change depth. Let's go ahead and fire real quick because they're coming. Okay, let's unlock. Okay, put another one back here. Let's put him at five knots. Okay, angle of bow, same, set, range. Hard to say with these waves. There. Set. Rot zwei, bewässern! 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo einschlagen. Rot, los! Okay. Got yeah, back here. Destroyers, lots of escorts. Here's one. Let's go ahead and put his range right there. Two. 20 Sekunden. Put him at five knots. Angle of bow. Let's leave it the same. Set. Rot, rein. Bewässern! I'm just firing a spread. We got a hit. Serious damage. Okay. All the lights are on so they know we're here for now. Escorts, escorts, escorts. Look how many escorts we have out here. Just, just tons of them. Oh, jeez. Straight at us. Carrier. Range. If I can hit this carrier really good, he's coming right at us, so he should be a fairly easy target. Set. I don't have any speed. Say zero. Angle of bow. Coming right at us. Set. 
Adapt down 3.5. Come on, load it up, load it up. Carrier coming right at us. Okay. Take her down deep. Speed. Blank speed. Let's give it a right turn. Let's give it a left turn. Der Torpedo ist auf halbem Weg zum Ziel. 20 Sekunden. See what we got here. 10 Sekunden bis Einschlag. Can we get a front hit on this guy? It's the torpedo, there's one of them. Come on, he's turning, he's turning. He probably sees it. Come on, guy, get him, come on, get him. Oh, well, it's a come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's going to turn in this at just the last second. Oh, I just missed him. Just missed him. So, anyway, we got a ship there. One was a dud. Okay. It might go out and hit something else, I don't know. Let's see, we have an escort carrier here. Everybody, I'm bringing my death down. I'm still speed fast. But what I can do is go ahead and bring this guy in here, who's asleep, and say, pick up the sonar decoys. Okay, these are your sonar decoys right here. And these are great. As you can see, my discipline's still going down. This could cause a lot of problems. Let's see, get a med kit on this guy. When you have discipline problems, you could have people have heart attacks, things like that. So it's good to have somebody with a med kit on board. See where this person is. Do we have any hurt sailors? Slow discipline. Okay. Well, he's getting the med kit. We've been pinged. All right. Let's go ahead and dispense. So in our decoy, let's start having a little fun with these guys. Because they're pinging us, they're onto us right now. Okay. Here comes a destroyer. Let's bring this man in. Go ahead and launch the decoy and then flank speed it. Get somebody on the engines. Go ahead and increase his crew. Decoy is away. Flank speed. Okay, the decoy is making no noise. Let's go ahead and do flank speed. And you can see them all. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven escorts. And there's a plane overhead looking for me. This guy's probably going to come in. They're all looking for me. But we're flank speed. Let the deco do its job. Discipline is still going down. Let's see. Can relieve some crew members. He needs them. This one, okay, it's getting better. We're at flank speed. You can see here the destroyers are moving where the decoy is, and they're going to start below. What's great is they're going to start depth charging. See, they're depth charging already. So what they're going to start doing is blowing this buoy up. And what's going to be great is it's going to even mask your sound even more. As you can see, my sound over here, even at flank speed and everything, is being masked by the, the, the decoys and the, and the uh, depth charges. So right now, I'm... I'm I'm able to reposition and take a, uh, make attacks on other on other ships if I want to, while the rest of the convoy is down here bombing 6%. So it's starting to climb, so you can go ahead and do, you could do, uh, lower your speed down. And see, as you can see now, boom, I'm invisible again. Okay? So the thing is, you, you know, on higher difficulties, you won't have this. You won't have this to judge stuff with. So, But again, down here, I'm, I'm zooming down on the... Uh, the decoy, and you can see the depth charges rolling off the boat. There you go, explosions. You can see them, they're depth charging that area pretty hard. I'm slowing down, my depth's about one, I'm about 150 meters down. Oxygen, see they're depth charging now, my oxygen's going down. You can hear them exploding. This is a good time to go ahead and run your air. Okay, replenish your air supply while these, because no one's going to be able to hear while there's depth charges going off. You could hear them exploding constantly, and they're going to blow that buoy up really bad. 
So let's have the man turn the air supply on. You could also run the bilge. This is a great time to run the bilge, how much uh, water we have in there. We only have 0.6 meters, so not real much water. But while all these explosions are going on, this is a good time to run air, clean up the air, um, run flank speed, do things to get away while that sonar in there, depth charging, because they're deaf at that point. See, they're depth charging still. Depth charges are still underway. Go ahead, this is a good time. Plunge the air, deal with disciplinary issues. If you got somebody screaming in the boat, it's not good during a like depth charge attack. So, got a ship that was hit and sunk here. Boat that sunk there. Let's go ahead. Still invisible. Let's go ahead and run a ping just to see what we have depth under keel. Don't do the don't do the deep ping, just do the shallow. Air supply is coming back up. Scrub in the air. Compass is turned off. This is turned off. More silence. I, I'm on manual depth steerage, which is you know again everything that cuts off sound. See that one, but air is almost finished. More depth charges. We're depth charging again the, the decoy. Okay, the air is almost replenished. People are grabbing a bite to eat. Hear the explosion in the distance. Now you start to see my the two percent detection. So. Go ahead, we're good on air, we can turn that off. So we scrub the air. Back quiet again. Speed, still slow. Alright. You can hear the distance, the explosions of the depth charges. Yeah, they're hitting that area, they're hitting that area pretty hard. A lot of escorts over there. Let's get him back on. We got on the hydrophone. Got escorts near us. Continue to make our way. Continue to make our way up through the convoy here. Get in another attack position. Take a look at our tubes. He's been loading our torpedoes. Um, let's see. Which torpedoes are we getting? T1s. Okay, so they're being loaded. Air is good, discipline is really bad, but it's all right. Well, hopefully we could have some discipline, lose some discipline here and probably treat it or show you how it's taken care of. Not a big deal is, is we'll be able to make it out to be more depth charges. Let's take a look at our sonarman. That charge is going off. Loaded. Let's see if they hear them going off. Oh, there he goes. Oh, hear him? Damn. They are hitting that area hard. Depth charges, depth charges, depth charges. They were just unloading everything into that area. Okay, so decoys down here, and that's where all the depth charging is happening. So we'll continue to go up here. We got some boats nearby. Let's go ahead and change our course. Speed it up. You can see the escorts are just 
all over the place looking. And they're wondering where I am at. All tubes loaded. He's warming up the tubes. Good. Maybe I can get these two freighters up here while everyone else is destroying that area down there. Discipline is down to almost nothing. Let's see what happens when the discipline goes. to these ships here. Let them have it. Oh, 12%. This one's getting really bad. Maybe somebody will scream and get, some, get their attention. 13%. 14%. Okay. Captain, anybody panicking yet? He looks like they're, he's getting a little... Take some of these guys off. He looks like he's getting a little crazy. I'm gonna have to deal with him. They are narrowing me down again. I guess they're done blowing up that sonar. That decoy, so... Depth. Are you okay? Warming them up. Alright, 19. This might be a good time if someone is screaming or breaks under pressure that you get another decoy. But we're going to see if we can contain this. We're going to see if we can contain this. Here when this goes up, when the guy snaps. Sounds like more depth charges. Storm, nice storm upstairs. And this one's about to break here in about five minutes, six minutes. I could probably alleviate some of it if I come up, if I come up on uh, the other depth charge in that area again. See if I could speed it up and get the guy to snap. Yeah, they, keep, they just keep, being, keep hitting that same area. Okay, depth charges, depth charges, depth charges. I want that guy to snap. There we go. There we go. Come on. Have a guy break. Completely hidden, 12. This guy snaps, so he'll probably draw a lot of attention, so you may have to do a couple things to avoid escort. Yep, there we go. We have a coward. Let's go ahead and slow this down. Oh, take your captain. See, he's cowering here, and he's being loud. I can knock him out, or I can calm him down. Let's go ahead and knock him out. Because this is a trait that you can give your captain, called the Iron Captain, which basically puts him to sleep. <laughs> so you can see the, the sound waves coming from him, so he's he's making a lot of noise. So I'm putting him out. And you can see a meter going here, so hopefully I can knock this guy out before he draws any of the escort's attentions up, up above. Get him quiet, Captain, get him quiet. We'll all die. We'll all die. Right, they got 12%. They haven't quite lo locked me down yet. All right, here we go. Put them to sleep. There we go. <laughs> so they'll carry him to a bunk, and I've probably got to treat him. So we'll see. <laughs> but. Discipline has been temporarily restored. Air's still good. Everyone's good. And look, they're not going to find us anymore. So sometimes you just need to handle business and knock out the sailors or try and calm them down to be, remain quiet. And again, they have no idea where I'm at. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead. 
That's straight. Let's go up to periscope depth. See if we can get this guy here. Keep going slow. One straight. Okay. Periscope depth. Alright. Let's see if we can get man load and get another freighter. We're at thirteen percent detection. We've just been pinged. They know where we are. The scope up. Storm. There's your destroyers. Load about zero. That's where the freighter is. There he is. Do a quick attack on him. Speed, we're gonna put. We'll do five knots. Okay, angle of bow. He's about 90. Put that. Uh, torpedoes. Rohr 1, bewässern. Version. Rohr 2, bewässern. Do this about 3. Things are about to change. Let's go ahead and do this. They're firing the scope. Okay. Change course. About 16. 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo einschlagen. If we get him. Get him? One looks like we'll miss, but one looks like we'll get him. Come on, get that back, get that back, get that back. Oh, just. Der Aal ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. Der Aal ging daneben, Herr Kaloy. We're not going to give up on that. Go ahead and get things picked up again. Even though they're coming after us. Sir. Okay. Go to manual mode. Okay, he's about zero, five zero. There's flares going off up there. Do his range. Let's go ahead and get his range set in. Players are up. Uh, we're gonna still give him. I'm gonna give him about seven knots. And let's do angle of bow. He is straight across. Yep. 19%. That torpedo is. I think I adjusted my knot, so I think I'll get him this time. Come on, get him. Boom! There you go. Just adjusted the knots a little bit. He's going down. Um, there's a guy to my 180. Some log destroyer there. See if I can get the guy on the 180 on tube 5. There we go. Lock. Oh man. Really close. Really, really close. Range. He's like. My op might go under him. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. Two, six. Bow. Like this. Set. Oh, 
How close is he? 350 meters. That's awfully close. Yeah, missed him. Alright, well, it's in the calling always detected. Yeah, he is real close. Alright, let me go. Up. Let me get that ship that's in front again. Because he's at a bad angle. Destroyer's coming in. Maybe put in the last one into this other freighter before I go down. sinking, but hopefully I'll hit him again before we have to dive down again. Bow. Put this. Set. Oh, fear. Bebessan. Oh, fear. Fertig. Los! 40 Sekunden bis Torpedo Einschlag. Let's go ahead and take it back down. This torpedo may be dead. It's not pre not heated up, but hopefully we'll uh, see it coming out of there. There it is. There it goes. Come on, right in the back. Oh, got him. <laughs> that boat ought to go down now. He's already been hit, so. Alright. Go ahead. Going deep again. Let's go ahead and go flank speed deep. Just get down. And then we'll see from there where we go. But again, as you can see, I got propeller noises up here. So there's another fleet nearby. And there's another propeller noise here. So again, a common trick was you could dive anywhere when you get in the patrol area and listen for noises. You can hear sounds many miles out. Like this may be another U boat. I don't know. So again, I'm entangled up middle of the fleet. I'm continuing to attack while popping up, and destroyers are everywhere. They're going to start making their way back up this way because one of these ships got destroyed, so they're going to be here shortly. Now, if I really want to have fun with them, you can always go back into your boat. Okay. Go to your man with the sonar. Do things. Capitan. Decoys. Heck, we'll manually run back there and do it. Get out of your bed. Okay. Let's go back here and launch one of these. Okay. Oops, I go back the wrong way. Where am I going here? That's the captain's quarters and going the wrong way. Here. Alright, don't go through there. Through here. Okay. Batter. Here's the pill launcher. There you go. One's away. Okay. We're full speed. Let's go this way. We are down at 150 meters. Escorts now are going to come and they're going to come destroy that. The boat just went sunk, sunk down. I might wonder if we'll hear it. Boat just sunk near us. Everyone's in their bunks being quiet, trying to conserve oxygen. Let's see what we got here. Right. Slower stuff up ahead. More guys on the engine, so I get flank speed. Get away from the area. There they go. All the destroyers are making their way over here. 
their depth charging. So, Copy again, on their depth charging, let's go ahead and scrub the air. Still got lots of pads in here. Take a look at the bilge. Bilge has got about a meter and a half. I can go ahead and run the bilge. So see the water starting to pour up into the boat. It's running. Go ahead and turn the bilge on. As you can see, no detection because they're depth charging. So oh, I got about 14, so that's getting a little bit of attention. It's dropping steadily though. So, go ahead and get the water out of the boat. Air is being cleaned. Again, my air supply is being refreshed. 16%. They're starting to dial me in on that. So we'll go ahead and turn. Turn the bilge off. And yeah, they're getting dialing me in a little closer and closer, so. Go ahead and turn that off. Yep, there we go. Hidden again. Yeah, the air has almost been resupplied. Boots are being reloaded. We're still moving at flank speed. Battery's doing really well, so. Continue if we can continue our attack. Discipline is doing okay for the most part. The captain hasn't had to deal with anything. Okay. Again, these sonar decoys have to be researched, and I would strongly suggest researching them because you're you're gonna have a very difficult time dealing with a convoy that's this defended without them. So again, these give you the breathing room you need to replenish oxygen and uh, deal with issues and things like that while you're attacking a convoy. So, so far I got two of these things sunk. Not really hitting a lot, but again, just doing this more of this video just for, you know, uh, showing uh, evasion, how to avoid uh, destroyers and things like that. Now, the thing is, if you don't have these, if you don't have the uh, 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 sonar decoys and they go over you, the rule is change course, flank speed, change your depth, okay? You gotta do those three things every time they're over you. And it's like, I do another game, Wolfpack, where I use that quite a bit. In that, in that one, it's a pretty hardcore subsim and you can't even look outside the boat. You just hear the pings, you can hear which way they're coming and you just do it the last minute, you're changing course, increasing your speed and everything. Again, they go deaf just before the attack. What's really bad is later on in the war is they could have another destroyer sitting back monitoring where you are while the other one attacks you, and that's the way they used to destroy a lot of subs back in the war. I'm been detected. Going down forward slow, as you can see here. All right, make sure the air is off, everything. Okay, so somebody is detecting me. Sonar decoy, 38%, electric engines. Okay, as you can see, the sonar decoy gets a little weaker over time. You can see here, he's beelining it right for me. Fury. Okay, so we'll see if we could employ what I was just talking about in effect. If he drives over me, change of course. So he's approaching me. Let me fast forward this, get this guy over me. Yeah, he's, he's got me. Oh wait, he's lost me. Nope, he's got me back. Nope, he lost. He's going off. Okay, he had me, and then he lost me. So, anyway, it, if he did drive over me, this fleet is scattered all over the place. If he did drive over me, I was going to... See, now, the thing is, I'm behind him. He can't hear you directly behind because of his prop. So you can go ahead and floor it for a little bit. Okay, you can see it slowly coming up as he turns his boat. Go ahead, drop your speed back down. Okay. Okay, they're over there depth charging still. We've got this guy right here that's still coming. I can use him as a target of opportunity. Again, the place is crawling with destroyers. Oh, there's one coming right behind me. Let's see if he drives me. Now, you, the thing is, you do not want a destroyer attack that goes right over you like this. Don't know. This is really, really bad. So let's let him get a little closer. Okay. Now... 
the prop. You'll be hearing the prop. She's getting very close. He's probably still painting. Now, propellers above us. Hard change of course. Flank speed. Let's change depth. About 30, 40 meters. In case, in case he does, he's not going to drop any. But this is the kind of way you would respond to that kind of a attack from a, a destroyer. You do not go along the line with him. Ever. Okay. I don't think he dropped any charges, so I'm going to go down to forward slow. Change back depth down 150. These boats were actually rated for about 240 meters, so... But if you get down that deep, your bilges start filling up quite, quite rapidly. Okay. Depth charges, depth charges. They're still all over me. Okay. Let's go ahead and make our escape. See if we can get out. Discipline is getting really bad. Where's the engine man? Because he's got a crew. So let's go ahead and tell him to get back in their bunks. Uh, engine guy's kind of tired, so let's go ahead and get him some coffee to help him out a little bit. Don't necessarily need to, but, you know, it helps him perform. Okay. So he had some coffee. He's awake. This guy needs to go to sleep. Storm is pretty strong up there. Let's go ahead. Have you go to sleep? Yeah, have this man yeah, take the radio or the hydrophone. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's depth charge. I can see any lights. are creeping in the dark. Pretty far down. I don't see any flashes. Alright. Clear it up. They're starting to close in over here. They know uh, I'm somewhere over here. Oh, I got a... Somebody's got me dialed in. No discipline. Okay. I'll deal with it if it happens. Get bad time to have somebody start screaming, but it happens. If that's just going off, that means somebody knows where you are. See all look at, look at all the escorts. Corvette, Corvette, destroyer, destroyer, Corvette, and Corvette. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them around here. Oh, oh, wait, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I mean, Let's see where he's going. Yeah, they're looking. They're looking. They're kind of, they're kind of narrowing it down again. I have one of those sonar decoys. I could use one of those, but I'll see if I can sneak out. See if I could sneak out on these guys. Oh, let's get up a little bit. Oh, they're looking. This one is still going down. Captain, Air Caloy, Air Caloy. Uh, chip's dangerously close, okay. I have another guy snap here shortly. Uh-oh. That guy may know where we're at. But let's see. We're going to all converge here. Did I drop any? know quite where I'm at. Schiffsschrauben direkt über uns, Herr Kaloy. They're looking, they can't quite find me though. Discipline is going to break here in about a minute, so someone may have a heart attack, or we'll see what happens. So let it go. Let the discipline break. And let's see what happens. 
gonna start screaming and making lots of noise. About to happen here shortly. Come on. And this one's about to break in a minute. Okay. There's the bilge. Meters of water. Alright. This is not really affected. So we go ahead and wait for get the skipper out here. Get him ready to deal with whatever he's got to deal with. And I'll try and talk this guy down. I choked out the other guy, so this hopefully I can calm this guy down. Or maybe he'll just have a heart attack. Okay. Oh, situation under control. Sweet. This is great when you get that symbol, is somebody... Basically, this is great. What you want the crew to do is become these veterans like this, and you eventually weed all the crews out. And these guys aren't affected by discipline. So they become pretty much hardcore sailors. So when you go back to port and you're changing your sailors out, you want these guys, because they are the hardcore guys. Water we have in here. This is the order here you can give if you want people to move water. Here, let's have people move water out of here. Bilge. Herr Kaloy. Want some to do that? Okay. Slowly making our way away from. If there's any other fleets around. No. Okay. Slowly we're making our way away. Stories are still coming out here, though. Uh oh. Mm. No discipline. Okay. We lost us. We're making our way away from the convoy. He's circling around. So he's kind of senses something. Not anymore. Oh, nope. He's, he's spinning around. He kind of has here something. We have another a sailor. This is, this is great. We have another sailor who's now... A sea wolf. Fine discipline has no effect. Perfect. This is the way you make your hard crew or your uh, hardcore crew. We're still here. He's, he's kind of narrowed it down. Let's see what he's got into him here. He's sitting on top of us, so he's trying not to make noise to see if we surface. Uh, just common destroyer trick. Again, a way to see if before you change depth or anything, we can go ahead and let's see, let's run bilge. Let's see if we can get him to move. Okay? So turn something on, it makes noise. When the you when the people when the destroyers sit like that, it gives away your position, but you can see if they're they're sitting there waiting for you. The bilge is running. Do we have any movement? Yeah, there I see he's moving again. I have this guy turn the bilge off again. So again, it kind of baited the destroyer to start moving again, looking for us. So that's a way before you come up and change depth up to periscope depth or anything, you could check to see if there's anyone up there lurking, waiting for you. This was actually used by U-Boat Commanders 2 in the war. Alright, so let's go ahead. No discipline. I don't want to use another Ooh, if I can help it. Let's see. Air's still going down. Lone destroyer is still chasing us. Lost us. Get the air. I can stretch the air. It might be sitting again. Actually, let's get a hydrophone guy. Do you want the hydrophone? There we go. He's not sitting, he's still looking. Hoping to get this guy away before my air runs out so I can run the air vent. Discipline's breaking again. So let's go ahead and run the air, clean the air up. 
This one's about to break again. We'll see if we make another hardcore crewman. Running this is going to draw a little bit of attention, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Pretty deep. Maybe we're below the thermal layer, 30%. He's definitely going to be able to narrow us down with that. But I got to replenish some air here. We got our stern to him, so that's pretty good. You want to have your stern or your bow to him, give him the lowest, lowest profile. So given the situation where I have to turn on the air, it's, I'm in the best possible position to do so. Slowly declining. This one's about to break here again, which is fine. Just deal with it. Or they could have more sea wolves come out of it, which is great. It's what you want. Get about midway. I'll get it about midway and turn it off. You could run these two without the potassium filters in there. Like it's just not as efficient. So again, don't leave this running because you you'll burn through all your pads too. Okay, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and turn this off. If we got extra pads, we do. We have extra pads in here. Let's go ahead and drop. Discipline's about to break here. Have the captain ready to deal with it. I think this destroyer's losing interest rather quickly. There's another one coming in to join them. So you can see they can, they just keep coming, they keep coming, they keep coming. Look at all these destroyers. One, two, three, four, five. They are very, very mad what I did to them. Very mad. And they're having to keep me under longer. What's the village look like? Three meters, okay. Oxygen is about halfway. Discipline's about to snap. Find out who's gonna break here or become a sea wolf. Yeah, you want the sea wolves. They're awesome. Okay. So there. Who's gonna be next? And here we go. Sea Wolf, another one. No, nope, now I got three hardened crew members. Perfect. Great, I'm going. I'll probably have a whole hard crew of men. And you can change the cowards out when you get back to port, so you get another. Eventually, your crew gets all hardened. Yeah, what is it, Audrey? Hi, I'm Maggie. Oh, cool, thank you. Oh, thank you. All the destroyers, one sitting. This name there's one over there. Over there. the storm's over. Yeah, they're after me with a vengeance. Discipline again is going down. Oxygen in yellow. Silent running or blue light, so it's minus 50% usage. So we got got some staying power. You just gotta watch it. You don't want to be in fast compression and then your oxygen runs out because the crewmen start dying like rapidly. Okay, I don't care about the discipline. See if we make another hardened crewman, and if not, we'll go ahead and we'll deal with it. Four minutes. Four minutes. No air quality. Two minutes. Have somebody break. See what we got. And then we'll go from there. Three, six seconds. Okay. Let's go ahead and take the compressor off. Oh, another sea wolf. 
Hey, sweet. I got four of them now. So all my crew, this is um, this is actually a lucky turn of events because everybody is simply just handling their business, which is good. I do have a lot of water building up here in the bilge. Three and a half. Uh, all right, we can deal with that. Probably turn it on to see where these other ships are because right now I'm not hearing anything. Let's go ahead and do a bilge check to see who's up there. Those are probably lurking. Turn that on real quick. So we'll do a bilge check just to see who's sitting around up there because I saw to get them moving. There you go. There's one lurker. Bring this back off. Okay. But we do have a lurker up there. Completed in five minutes. Go ahead and turn this on. May make a little bit of noise, but we'll go ahead and we'll see see how well he's able to protect us. Ooh, we'll turn it off. Yeah, boy. Yeah, he could definitely hear that. Now you can see I'm in a pinch because my air is about to run out here in five minutes. Well, Captain. now again, you can use a sonar, throw one out. And this is where we go flank speed, get the air going, everything. This is what saves you. So, these guys are hovering about. You don't really have much of a choice. Go ahead, pop a sonar. Uh, decoy, it's away. Go ahead, flank speed, add engine goes. Okay, turn the oxygen on. Let's have this guy run the bilge. Again, just make all the noise you want because that, that's what the decoy's for. As you can see, we're running all these things. Bilge, everything, and there's no, they can't, they can, the, the decoy's hiding us. Plus we're flank speed ahead, so we're getting out of here. Batteries are holding up really well. Options coming back. Discipline still it's holding about 50%. So, so right now, unloading all the water that's accumulated in the boat, replenishing the air supply, and running at flank speed as the decoy has been deployed. With this guy. Uh, let's go ahead and put him to bed. He did. Let's put this guy on the hydrophone. And let's see what's going on out there. There's the decoy. I'll catch the destroyers here shortly. He's probably sitting and waiting. Probably heading towards the decoy. There's another destroyer. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn off this. It's been turned off. Alright, so we should be dry. Okay, so we'll turn that off because it looks like they're starting to hear us above the decoy. So we'll go ahead and kill that. I don't have any pads anymore. But that's fine. Going back towards the decoy. Sweet. So again, he's going back towards the decoy. Low discipline. Don't care. Again, that could just that could just yield. Load discipline isn't always bad. You can yield, you know, veteran sailors. Have med kits on hand in case somebody has a heart attack. Okay, let's go down. Forward slow. In fact, we could stop. Be even more quiet. Yeah, these guys aren't letting go. It's 
slow. Where's the stop? There we go. See if that decoy gets their attention back. Yep, see they're still continuing. They, they, they stay on you pretty hard. This convoy's all the way back over here and these guys are still chasing me. Go put in the sleep. Well, he actually is awake, so it doesn't matter. There he goes. So I've come to an all stop, being real quiet. This one's about to break. Hopefully I can deal with whatever happens. So, yep, there we go. Two, one. Does oh, this have a coward. Then? He's going to be going nuts. So we got to deal with crazy guy here. We're running to the back of the boat. Stomping through the boat. Calm him down. Now they're not hearing us. But we'll see. Let's get him together. We're gonna get him off the boat as soon as we get back to port. The captain's talking to him now and saying, "Hey, you need to get it together and see if this works." Thankfully, there's no destroyers around while this is going on because him, all the noise and everything, draws a lot of their attention. But. That little foray developed four hardcore sailors, so we'll all die. Oh, we'll see if the captain can get them together. Go ahead. All right, so you got 25 experience. You can talk him down. So, all right, we're good. He's back to work. I didn't have to knock him out. It looks like the destroyers are finally leaving, going back to the convoy. Oh, there's another one. They're probably going back to where the sonar decoy is. So, let's go ahead. Let's come up to periscope depth. Coming up to periscope depth now. Captain can get on his periscope. We can see what's going on out here. To report we sunk this. Okay. Captain. Anyway. I don't think we got anybody nearby. So let's go ahead and do a manual sweep here. Behind us, that's where the boats are. One eighty is where they're all are at. Alright. We did a sweep, nothing's out there. Alright. Let's go ahead and surface the boat. You can even go deck so wash if you want, just to be a little more cautious, but Tanks let's surface the we're alright. go. What's coming up? Pretty beautiful. Very nice sky. Here we go. We're coming up. The captain's got a watch, so we can extend that watch. Boom. We're far enough away. Okay, so we've surfaced. Let's get the bilge cleared out. Captain, sehr wohl, Herr Kaloy. Get the bilge cleared. So anyway, there you go. That's how you basically avoid a heavily defended escort. As you can see, they can be very, very determined. But with the right equipment and doing some of the right things and steps and knowing when to move and what to turn on and how to do it, you can survive these, these convoy encounters. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.